Hi guys, welcome to Food Allergy Canada's Allergy Pals Monthly. My name is Julia and I'm so excited to welcome you guys to this month's session. If you weren't here last time, this is how it works. So we're going to talk about a certain topic and have some fun polls, interactive activities, and a question and answer time at the end. So this month's theme is epinephrine auto-injectors. Okay, so guys, my name is Julia. My allergies are peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. So my hobbies are swimming, reading, and watching sports. How many times I've used the EpiPen? Oof, that's a really tough question because I've used my EpiPen quite a few times. I've at least used it at least six times. I know it's more than six, but I'm not sure how many exactly it would be pretty cool to count but i'm really not sure and my typical place to carry my epi my epinephrine i carry my epinephrine everywhere i have a place to put it wherever i go unless i'm at home and then it's usually just like in the place where i'll like pick it up when i'm leaving my house all right let's start with a poll question so out of the following options, what's the name of the epinephrine auto injector that's currently available in Canada? So select one, the AutoMed 3000, the epinephrine, or the EpiPen? Answer is the EpiPen. Awesome. All right, so let's do some epinephrine true and false. So what I want you to get, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to say a question and that question is going to be either true or false. So after I say the statement, I want you guys to answer in the question box below which one you think it is. Do you think it's true or do you think it's false? So question number one, EpiPen comes in two doses for children and for adults. Do you think that's true or false? Oops. So we got a couple of trues coming in from Cheryl and Heather. All right, guys, let's test it out. Let's see, let's go to the next one and then we'll find them all out at the end. So question number, or statement number two, epinephro auto injectors never expire. Is that statement true or false? All right, and the third one. You should call 911 after using epinephrine. True or false? All right, let's check your answers, guys. So, question number one, or statement number one, sorry, EpiPen comes in two doses. Most of you guys click true, and the answer is it's absolutely true. So it does come in two doses. So it's EpiPen Junior for those weighing 15 kilograms and less, and then the regular EpiPen for those uh, weighing 30 kilograms plus. So question number two, epinephrine auto injectors never expire. False. Epinephrine auto injectors, guys, all have an expiration date. So I'll give you guys a good example. I just bought uh, a bunch of new uh, epinephrine auto ejectors because mine are actually expiring at the end of August. I have some that expired in June, some that expire in August, and my new ones don't expire until November of next year. Okay, let's do statement number three. You should call 911 after using epinephrine. Absolutely true. So give epinephrine at first signs of an allergic reaction and then call 911 immediately after. Awesome job, guys. Good work. All right, so a good question. How does it help? How does epinephrine help me? So epinephrine is the drug form of a hormone, which is called adrenaline. So devices are commonly called epinephrine auto injectors. These things, you typically reverse the symptoms of an allergic reaction. 
So I want you guys to super remember that it is there to help you. So your epinephrine auto injector will make you feel better after you use it. And it is nothing to be afraid of. All right, so let's talk about my story. So this one time I used it, I was on vacation. I was actually, I'm trying to remember how old I was. I think I was like seven or eight. Um, and there was a misunderstanding with my food. I grabbed a slice of pizza, which I automatically assumed I could eat because it just looked like it was safe. Um, so I actually ate it without checking with anybody, what, not even my parents, about whether it was okay for me to eat or not. And I did have an allergic reaction and it did start immediately after I started eating um, the pizza. I remember feeling hot and flushed. I remember my throat feeling a little bit weird. I remember talking a little bit differently. Just, I wasn't feeling very good. Um, and I was feeling worse and worse and worse with every minute that passed. So, as soon as my mom and my dad realized and I that something was happening, we used my epinephrine right away. And as that happened, I felt better immediately. I felt like I was able to take a deeper breath. I felt like I wasn't as itchy and red. Um, so then right after, we called 911 and we went to the hospital. We did this to make sure that the reaction was gone. It is so important, guys, that even if you use your epinephrine auto injector that you still go to the hospital and get monitored so i actually learned a lot from this experience i actually learned two things so number one i learned to not touch food that i haven't either talked to the chef about or talked to my parents about or that i wasn't like not to eat food that didn't have ingredients in it and i also learned to not be afraid of my epinephrine because it's only there to help you. All right, let's go on to the next poll question. Have you ever used your epinephrine auto injector before? So select one of the following. Yes, no, or not sure. All right, so some of you guys said yes, and then more of you guys said no. Awesome. Great job. Okay, so let's keep going about something that I mentioned before, which is how epinephrine does expire. So epinephrine expires about once a year. So it's so important you get new devices before they expire. So if you see that yours are expiring in August, maybe it's time to go get a new one at the end of July. If you see that they're expiring in January, Maybe the last couple of weeks of December, you should go get a new script. Do you know where your epinephrine expiry date is? Ask your parents to help you look. And then it's so important. I actually, um, I, I do this actually. I write when it expires in my calendar or I'll have it on my phone. And then like, at least I have that in my head that when that time of the year is approaching, um, then I have to start thinking about going to the doctor and getting prescribed some new ones. All right, and practice, practice, practice is so important. So why would practicing be important? It's important to practice because you don't know if one day you'll be in a situation where you'll have to learn how to use your, where you'll have to use your epinephrine yourself. I've had to use my epinephrine myself. I've been in a situation before where my parents weren't with me and my siblings weren't with me and my friends weren't with me. And I was in a very public place, but I still had to use my epinephrine myself. It's very important to be sell, like to be very independent, to know what you're carrying and to know how you're going to use it. It's also important to teach your friends how to use it. So let's put up our hands. Have you taught a friend? If you taught a friend, raise your hand. So I see a couple of hands up. Awesome. Dee, I see your hand up. Is there something that you want to share about teaching a friend how to use the EpiPen? Or sorry, the epinephrine? Uh yeah. One of my I was um uh, one of my friends asked um 
about my trainer because I had it out and I just showed her how to use it. And um, I think she appreciated that. Awesome, love that story. Thank you for sharing. All right. So guys, again, super important for you guys to learn. Maybe you don't know how to do it yet, but maybe you wanna start thinking about doing it. Ask your mom or your dad to use a trainer and teach you how to do it. And it's also important to teach your friends how to do it because you never know, you might be in a situation one day where an accident does happen and your mom and dad aren't with you. All right, next poll question. All right, have you ever practiced on an auto injector training device before? Yes, no, or not sure. 100% of you said yes. Awesome, that's what I like to hear. All right, so let's practice a tough situation. So what I'm gonna do guys is tell you guys about the situation. I'm gonna read you one of the bubbles and your job is to either come up with what you want the second bubble to say, so how you would respond by writing in the question box below or raising your hand so we can unmute you. So the situation is, what would you do in the situation while you were at school with a friend? Friend says, hey, I don't see your epi on pouch on you today. Did you forget it? Let's keep walking, we're already late. How would you guys respond? Raise your hand or answer in the question box below. All right, D, let's hear it. Dad. I would have said, no, I should go back and get it. Maybe I can call my mom. Love it. Awesome. Great. Thank you. How about you, Heather? Um, I would, uh, well, I would tell them to keep going and I would go back and get it myself. Love that. Sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. So guys, with a lot of your um, responses, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys would stop instead of keep walking, even if you're gonna be late to school, it doesn't matter, because the most important part, I think, is to make sure that you have your epi on you. So if you realize you forget it, or if somebody else realizes you forget it, it's important to make sure you take the steps to get it. Great job. All right, so next thing that we're gonna do is something called Allergy Wheel of Fortune. It's super fun. So I'm gonna slowly reveal letters of a special phrase. I want you guys to type your guesses in the question box. The first one to guess the correct phrase wins. Are you ready? All right, so that's the word right here. And the clues on the bottom, it's the golden rule. So I'm gonna start showing some letters now. Anybody have any idea yet? People getting close. Hmm. Write your answer in the question box below as soon as you get it. Oh, and Mich um, I think it's Michelle or maybe it's Michele. Got it. It's never. Oh, actually, let's see if anybody else can get it. I'll wait. Oh, and following Michelle was Lee and Cheryl. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Answer is never leave home without it. Awesome job. Thank you to everyone for participating. And thank you guys for the ones that got it. Awesome job. 
All right, so I have a question for you guys. Never leave home without it. Why is that important? Well, I think it's important to never leave home without it because it is something that can potentially help you in a when you're really sick. So, and accidents do happen, accidents can happen. So I think it's important to always be prepared in case an accident does happen. Does anyone else have any thoughts? D says, because you could have an allergic reaction. Very true. Similar to what I said, absolutely. Awesome, thanks guys. Let's do the next poll question. Where do you carry your epinephrine auto injector? So select one, on your waist, in your backpack, an adult carries it for me or other. Great, so a lot of you guys carry it on your waist. That's awesome. I actually carry it on my waist sometimes too in like a fanny pack pouch, it's, I like it. A few of you guys see in your backpack, I've also carry it there, especially when I'm going to school. And then an adult carries it for me. I guess it's also true for me too because my mom some my mom always carries an extra EpiPen with her. Awesome, good job, guys. All right, so ways to carry your EpiPen. So like we just found out in that poll question question before, there's so many ways that you guys can carry your EpiPen. There's a waist belt, you can put it in your backpack, you can put it in your purse, whatever. Where do you guys like to keep your EpiPens? Put your answer in the question box below. And bonus question, where do you keep your EpiPen when you're doing a sport or activity? Raise your hand or answer the question in the question box. So I see a couple people put their purse, absolutely. I love putting in my purse because it's so, so easy, I just grab and go. Cheryl says she uh, puts hers in a pouch. I put mine in a pouch sometimes, especially if I'm being active. So if I'm walking a lot or if I'm gonna be running, it goes in a pouch. Awesome, so you guys put in so many different places. So I think keep it, during sport or activities is really interesting. I was always a swimmer, so, and obviously for very good reasons, you can't bring your, epi, uh, your epinephrine in the water because it'll get wet and it won't be good anymore, but I always used to keep it nearby. So if I were swimming, I used to make sure that it was very, very close to me. So like on the side of the pool, um, in my EpiPen pouch, whatever or my purse or my backpack. I just made sure my epinephrine was always very, very close. Um, and then when I was always playing or when I go running, I put it in a pouch or if I was ever playing like soccer or anything, I would just have it on the side. Still very close so I could access it easily. Where do you guys keep yours? Answer in the question box below or raise your hand. So most of you guys say on your waist and in your bed. So I find that that seems to be the most popular. Awesome. So guys, I want to show you there's so many cool ways to carry your EpiPen. So like, look at this one with somebody has actually strapped to their leg. That's so cool, especially if you want to be active and run or play soccer. That would be a really cool place to put it. Um, I see like some fanny pack kind of things or like a purse or like something that looks like a pencil case some really cool ways and they can be they can be fashionable too like we've got superman on there we got some flowers over there make it match your personality and my number one rule to you guys my just make sure you're keeping your epinephrine safe so first and foremost don't play with it if it's in your purse or if your epinephrine is in your backpack, that's where it should stay, unless you need it. But that's where it should stay. You should take it out, you shouldn't um, play with it, you just keep it in its pack. And number two, remember to take care of it. So never store it in a car glove box. And that's because um, usually when you're out of the car, especially in the summer and especially in Canada, 
the car gets really, really hot. You do not want your EpiPen or your epinephrine to get too hot because then it's it's not good for it. It will it'll go bad. And it's also important in the winter that your epinephrine doesn't get too cold. So you want to make sure it's not just out. You want to make sure it's either in a pouch or in a jacket, somewhere where it can be a little bit warmer so it doesn't freeze. So like an example is I'm actually going on vacation this week and it's gonna be really hot where I'm going. Um, so I'm gonna make sure my epinephrine's always in my backpack and always under an umbrella in the shade. All right, so question time. So here are just some guidelines, guys. So I don't want any parent questions, just kids. So you can either type your question or raise your hand to be unmuted over the phone. Keep it short and sweet. No medical advice. One question each and two if there's time. All right, so I'm gonna start by answering a question that I was given in advance. So this question is, my parents are always double checking that I carry my epinephrine with me. How can I prove to them that I'm responsible and always have it? Well, to answer your question, your parents will never stop asking you if you have your epinephrine on you or not. I'm 24 years old and my mother still asks me every time before I leave the house if I have my epinephrine on me or not. So that will never change, get used to it. But you also wanna prove them that you're responsible by not forgetting it. So it's important to make sure you always have it. And then make a note of the expiry date somehow. So like either putting on your phone or on your calendar, like I said, and then taking steps in advance to, um, to get it re sorry to get a new one that way your parents know that at least you're keeping an eye on when the expiration date is and that's so important so lee i see that your hands up is there a question you want to ask um are they ever going to make a cure like a needle to cure the peanut allergy um, I'm really not sure. That's a great question to actually ask your allergist to get into further conversation with them about it. I'm really not sure. Sorry. All right. So number two, a question, another question I have here. Will there ever be a, other auto injectors available? So currently there's the only one in Canada available in Canada, which we all know is the EpiA10. So maybe you can try to design your own prototype for a science project or something like that. Like think of what elements on the design that you would appreciate. So for me, anything thinner, like if they can make epinephrine, like the thinness of a credit card, they're onto something pretty cool. All right, um, I'll answer one more question on here. So should I bring more epipen, uh, epinephrines depending on where I am? That's a really good question because yes, you should absolutely bring more epinephrine, especially when you're traveling as it might get hard to use new devices when you're away from home. Um, so I'm going, like I said, I'm going away this week um, and I've actually brought a few more EpiPens than I usually bring just because I'm going away and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get more if I'm already gone. And it's also the same thing with camping. So you might be close to home, but make sure you pack extra since you might be a little bit further away from a hospital than you usually otherwise would be. Awesome. So guys, if you want more information, you can visit foodallergycanada.ca for more tips on epinephrine or emergency treatment. You can also visit www.epipen.ca. So I want to go over um, information for next month's session. So the date's going to be on August 26th. It's going to be from 7 to 8 p.m. And the topic is back to school. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it will be back to school. Don't worry, guys. You have a whole other month of summer vacation, so enjoy it now. So you can register for it at foodallergycanada.ca slash events. 
You can also watch past Allergy Pals monthly webinars at foodallergycanada.ca slash webinars. So I want to thank everyone for joining us today, and I really hope you can make it to the next to next time. I want to give a special thanks to University of Alberta for the original online mentorship program and TD Securities for their financial support. Lastly, please take a second to fill in our survey afterwards. We appreciate your feedback so much. Until next time, thank you.